I've got a grandma on my dad's side of the family, and I got a grandpa on my mom's side of the family. My grandma on my mom's side of the family passed, and my grandpa on my dad's side of the family passed. I even tried to get them together, but uh, I guess that didn't go over so well. <laughs> they were entertained by the idea, but had really no desire to make it happen. Uh, my grandpa and the Ingold side of the family, they've seen too much. They pretty much know there's a God for whatever reason. Perhaps all that mental mumbo jumbo that I'm into, they were into first. Anyways, they talk about my great grandpa or my dad, my grandpa's dad, walking in on the babysitter, moving with her mind, dishes around the kitchen table. <laughs> um, different things like that. He talks about some weird things like up table up, <laughs> some kind of poltergeist or mind over matter type thing. Anyways. They're approaching uh, their final days, and they know it. My grandma's getting older. My grandpa's getting older. His brother Phil is still kicking. And they're getting up there in age, maybe 10 years at the most. You know, I'm not really sure. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be so presumptuous as to put a date to it. I love them so much. Uh, they haven't always been perfect towards me, but uh, I guess who is? Um, me. No. <laughs> I screw up too from time to time. Anyways, um, I think they're pretty interesting folk, but I would have to guess they're not on their last incarnation. Um... I would say put in the work. Uh, you got 10 years left. What's feeding you? Are you reading the Gospels? Is that still speaking to you? Try the Quran. Try the Bhagavad Gita. Maybe these are my agenda or my biases, but, um, you know, I'm just trying to help out because uh, your last thought will carry you to your next destination. This I know.